You can't find him nowhere in our galaxy. But you can find every component of the black man in the air in which you breathe and in, in the body of water in which you drink. They call every element in the universe, not just on earth, it's in you. As stated, just your blood alone can contaminate a pool of blood tin. Drop. Dominant factor. What we have done, again, have allowed ourselves to allow the receptive to become the dominant factor. See, you can get an Eminem, you can, you can get an a Eminem out of a Dr. Dre, but you can't get a Dr. Dre out of an Eminem. Because if you would have had it, you would have had it around it. And if he could have had it, he would have had many a Dr. Dre. He's only one black man coming in his original form, only one of a kind. That's why his blood is too precious to be spilled on the sun. It's too precious. And our cry as a people, as a nation, in the name of Almighty God. Our universal cry, not out to the just the people of the United States, but to the world in a United Nation in a in an international world coast, de demanding that I demand to be free. Because up under the 13th Amendment and the 14th Amendment is a contradiction to everything I stand for as a human being. As a living creator, I have the ability. To generate and create my own community, my own world, militarily, economically, spiritually, educationally, by any means necessary, in the name of God. That's the only way you can come. You got to challenge the whole system. And the only way you challenge the system, you challenge it in a jurisdiction in which you play it in. The international coach, the world coach, and in the United Nations, you have to be represented in those two capacities in order to rise as a nation on the planet. Because when you rising, you representing every black man on four corners of this earth. In the name of God. If you're not coming in that form, then you're the direct contradiction to our ancestors. Let me show you this here too. Like, we're dealing with the Moors, dealing with the Moors. The Moors recognize that the land that the United States is occupying is illegal. They're like, you, you give us our land, y'all paying to you got to pay taxes on our land and all this here. And also the land that's in Palestine, the county of the Jews that's over there the, during the um, Belafort Treaty. 